I didn't start ha having to ask R. Kelly for permission for to eat and stuff until he actually moved me in the house. So as a fly-in, it it was normal life. You know, I where when if I go to the mall, he'll say he goes to the mall, money, go shopping. You know, I pretty much let him know where I'm at. Hey dad, I just got here. Hey dad, I'm leaving here. I would let him know my whereabouts. But I never had to say, Oh daddy, uh, can I get something to eat? When I say rules, he really don't just tell you the rules, he puts you to the test. For instance, April 2015, I came to Chicago. I sat in the hotel for two days. Daddy, hey, I'm here. Where are you? No response. So that Saturday, he he just out the blue 10 o'clock in the morning, come to the studio. So I said, okay. When I got to the studio, I called him. I texted him. I said, I'm here. So he called me. Okay, my is going to come and open the sprinter. So he comes and opens the sprinter and turns the sprinter on. So I'm sitting on the sprinter thinking he's about to come on the sprinter we're about to go somewhere. I was has passed by. I'm just on the phone talking to my friends, not realizing. And I had to use the restroom. So I text him and say, Dad, I have to use the restroom. He never responded. Remind you, I got to the studio at 10, 8, about 10.30, 11 a.m. His did not come and get me to 8 p.m. that night and said, Mr. Kelly said, come inside the studio.